And I'm just calling all of yourself back in. Just back in. Could be a busy day. There could be bits you. Your energy could be literally flittered everywhere. So just call yourself back in. Take a deep breath. Breathe out. And another deep breath in. And just call yourself back in. Those last little pieces. Just breathe out. Now just take a deep breath in. And just acknowledge the oneness of you. Okay, a deep breath out. And just let everything go that no longer serves you. You just want to let go. Now bring your awareness to your solar plex. And as you bring your awareness to your solar plex. Hi, Alwyn. Um, as you bring your awareness to your solar plex, visualize two big golden roots coming out of your solar plex down into your sacral chakra, into your hips. The tops of your legs, the bottoms of your legs, your feet, down to the floor you're standing in, through the rocks and lava, down through your earth star chakra and right down, right down, down, down into the centre of Mother Earth. And feel the energy of Mother Earth when you wrap these beautiful, beautiful roots around it. Just feel her loving energy of Mother Earth coming all the way up, all the way up. Into your earth star chakra, cleansing and clearing your earth star chakra, helping you to become more and more grounded. Right up through the rocks and lava, into the floor you stand on, through your feet, your ankles, the tops of your legs, the bo bottoms of your legs, the tops of your legs, your hips, your sacral chakra, your solar plex, into your heart, your throat, your third eye, <clears throat> the crown of your head. And just feel the energy of Mother Earth. Moving through every part of your body, just seeping through it, helping you become more and more relaxed and more at one with yourself. Really harnessing the beautiful energies of Mother Earth. Feel her energy, her love. She's so much love to give us. Okay. Then I'm going to ask you to bring your awareness to your third eye. And when you bring your awareness to your third eye, you're going to see a purple light don't worry if you don't see that purple light just visualize it it's getting bigger and bigger and brighter and brighter and as it gets bigger and brighter it gets that big you can step into it you're going to step into it you're going to step into an absolutely beautiful place of nature clear blue skies temperature is exactly right for you there might even be a slight breeze okay <clears throat> you'll see the trees the grass the flowers absolutely beautiful day there's a path straight in front of you and you're going to walk along the path and as you walk along the path you're going to come across a beautiful big oak tree and as you're looking at this oak tree you'll see there's a magpie sitting on a branch literally just waiting there for you and you're going to sit in the nook and the cranny of the this tree and you're going to get yourself very comfortable and just sitting and just taking it all in. And the magpie is literally going to fly down from the tree and he's going to land straight in front of you. He's going to tell you his name, or her name, sorry. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so he's going to tell you his name. So just go with the information that you receive, the first name that comes into your head. Okay. Okay, so just know that he is here to help you. There's something going on in <clears throat> a lot of people's throat chakras. I feel there's, um, my throat is absolutely <clears throat> killing me. So I'm going to ask your magpie to place his wings, one on the front <clears throat> and one on the back of your throat. Okay, now I feel there's a lot of clearing going on here. He's pulling, oh my God, he is literally pulling buckets. And I mean buckets of absolute dirt out of the throat chakra. You might need to cough. <coughs> this is all about us being visible. Sorry, this is about us being visible and being true to ourselves and speaking our truth. He's taken out, um, what I feel he's taken out is in 
cloaks of invisibility that we have been wearing through many lifetimes, many past lives. Okay. Not being able to speak our truth. A lot of us have been healers, which is it's been suppressed most of our lifetimes. And this is the lifetime that we need to speak our truth. This is and this is what's been clear, being cleared from our throat. So it's years of suppression, years of um, hiding, years of just not being able to fully be at one with ourselves. And this is the time now I'm being told. See, my throat is getting a lot better. So he's just pulling stuff, tons of stuff, absolutely tons of stuff out of our throat chakra. Clearing and cleansing everything that no longer serves us. No matter how much work we do, we always have more work to do. There's always another layer. It's like there's onions you never get to the centre of it. This is more, it's old, old past life stuff I feel that's being cleared. There's a lot of it because my throat still is not being cleared. So he's just clearing clearing and clearing and clearing this has been come up to to be cleared and decluttered before the full moon tomorrow night so we can harness those energies and really really start standing in our power i feel this month of february is it's been a turning point for a lot of people we've let go of all the crap so it's time now to move in to really stand in and be at one with ourselves okay Speak our truth. So I feel he's got the last, <coughs> sorry, the last little bit out. You can hear my throat is all croaky because of this. So he's just clearing and cleansing. There's a lot of stuff here. I feel he's taken out just buckets of stuff. Absolutely just pure. It's clear <coughs> now. This is clear now. Clear now, and what I feel now, see, my throat has completely changed. And what I feel now, he's putting in now is visible being visible, being able to speak your truth, having the confidence and the courage to bring in the balance in your life, the dark and the light, bringing in the light, the pure light into your life, letting go of all that no longer serves you. To many lifetimes, many past lives, many lifetimes. It's been cleared and cleansed. And what's been put in replace, replace of it is truth, integrity, joy, happiness, love. The love for the work you do, the love for just being you, for the oneness, becoming the pure and utter oneness that you need. You have the voice. You have the voice of your guides, your spirits, the animal guides, the angels, whoever it is that you connect with. But you have their voice and the world needs to hear the, the message you have. So it's time. It's time to really stand out from the crowd. Okay. I just feel he's just clearing and cleansing the last little bit. He's placing in truth, integrity, joy, peace, happiness. He's shining it up. I can see a, um, your chakra as a diamond. A blue diamond, so he's just shining the last piece. Okay. Well, that was some big clearing. Okay, now he's stepping back. And as he steps back, he has a beautiful gift for you. This gift is for you. It's to help you along your path, to help you make the steps forward that you need to take. The guidance, the information, it could be an object, an object, a phrase, a knowing, a feeling, a flower, whatever it is, it's for you. And that he also has that little bit of guidance that will help you 
with this <clears throat> whatever needs to be done next he's telling me so just go with the guidance and go with the information that you're receiving and know that you are on your path and you are on your right path Go with the information you're receiving. <clears throat> okay. Beautiful, beautiful magpie. Absolutely beautiful. They have amazing colours. If you actually look at them properly. Beautiful bird. They might even have a message from a spirit loved one. Okay. Now it's time for your magpie to step back and say goodbye to him in whatever way is appropriate for you. He's going to fly back up onto the tree. You're going to gather yourself up from underneath this beautiful <coughs> oak tree. You're going to walk along the path. As you walk along the path, you're going to come back to where you stepped into your purple light and you're going to step into it. You're going to step back into your third eye. And slowly back into the room that you're in. And slowly, slowly, slowly. Bring your awareness back into the room. Hiya, Granny. I'm just after seeing um, an eye ring that you are just watching. I hope you've caught the whole lot of it. If not, go back and do it. It's a huge clearing around. Hiya, Regina. Um, I'm literally just finished. Um, <clears throat> it's a huge clearing um, around the throat chakra about us being visible. So please do watch it and um, watch the replay and thank you very much for watching it i got my my beautiful magpie's name was jack and he gave me um like a foghorn to speak my truth about my soul alignment packages and um that the world needs me and it's time to really show show up and be me basically i've been told <laughs> So um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to stick in what you get or um, the gift or whatever into the group, into the live and I'll, um, I'll try and decipher what the gifts are or if there's any quick message for you, um, I will pop in and do it. Um, I will do it when I get a chance. I've been busy over the... So just um, have a great day. Have an amazing full moon and do remember, declutter, clear, cleanse and get your pen, your piece of paper out and write down what you want to bring in and um, let the magic unfold. Have an amazing day and I'll talk to you all again soon. Take care. Bye.